let us see about sinusoidal pulse width modulation in three phase inverter so what does a three phase inverter do it converts a dc voltage into a three phase ac voltage so all the three phases will be phase shifted by 120 degrees so this is the circuit diagram of a three phase full bridge inverter which consists of three legs and each leg consists of two thyristors connected in series there are various methods to control the output voltage in an inverter one of the efficient method is using pulse width modulation so because it does not need any external components by controlling the turn on and turn off of the switches you can control the output voltage of the inverter so by using pulse width modulation you can Uh, eliminate the lower order harmonics which are difficult to filter and you will you can easily eliminate the higher order harmonics with the small size filter so what is a sinusoidal pulse width modulation so in sinusoidal pulse width modulation you have a carrier wave as a triangular wave which is of very high frequency and the reference wave is a sinusoidal signal whose frequency should be the frequency of the inverter output voltage frequency that is if i need a 50 hertz ac output i should take this reference sine wave frequency as 50 hertz so that my inverter output will also be 50 hertz so you can see here this reference wave frequency will be the fundamental output frequency and you can compare these two signals in a comparator and whenever the sine wave is greater than the triangular wave you will get a pulse and the other thing you can note here is that in sinusoidal pulse width modulation the pulse width will not be uniform it will vary as a function of a sine wave let us see about sin pwm in three phase inverter so you have a high frequency triangular carrier wave which will be compared with three sinusoidal waves which are phase shifted by 120 degree so va vb and vc and here we have taken the modulation index uh, to be less than 1 that is the peak of the sine wave will be less than the peak of the triangular wave so when this va is greater than this v triangle you will get a, uh, that is the t1 will be turned on and va is less than v triangle t4 is on that is for each leg you have a different sine wave reference so this is similar to unipolar pwm in single phase inverter because each in each leg the devices are turned on separately so when vb is for second phase or second leg and vc is for third leg let us recall the modulation index which will control the harmonic content of the output voltage waveform so in sinusoidal pulse width modulation modulation index is given by this reference wave peak voltage divided by carrier wave voltage that is the triangle voltage so normally it is kept less than 1 that is the sine peak will be less than the triangular peak and the frequency modulation ratio is given by triangular uh, wave frequency divided by sinusoidal frequency so this mf in case of a uh, three phase circuit it should be chosen as a odd integer and multiple of 3 so by this way you can eliminate the third order harmonics so this mf helps to determine the frequency at which harmonics occur so depending upon this mf value your harmonics the lower order harmonics will be decided 
So in sinusoidal PWM, based on the amplitude modulation index, you have three regions, linear modulation region, over modulation and square wave modulation. So linear modulation is normally used, MA will be less than or equal to 1. Over modulation region, MA is greater than 1 and square wave modulation means MA is a very high value. In linear range of modulation, so here the magnitude of the sine wave is less than the triangular wave and three waveforms are there, sine waveforms are there and th first compare we con uh, this A waveform with the triangular and whenever this sine waveform is greater than the triangular waveform you get the output voltage VAN. So similarly for B phase you have to compare this waveform with triangular waveform and when this is greater you will get the high pulse. So if you see this region when this is greater you will get a pulse. So in three phase circuit we are always concerned about the line to line voltage. So you can see the fundamental voltage waveform here it appears to be sinusoidal waveform. So the fundamental component of um, output voltage that is line to line voltage is so in single phase circuit we get MA into Vs. So in, in three phase circuit this is given by line to line voltage fundamental component is given by root 3 by root 2 MA into Vs by 2. So that is equal to 0 0.612 MA into Vs. So the fundamental component is only 61 times of this one. So the harmonics in the output voltage if you see, you see that here it is 0.8 that is um, linear region and M of we have chosen as 15 which is an odd number as well as a multiple of 3. So if you choose a multiple of 3, this harmonics, third order harmonics will be eliminated. You can see here there is no MF here, but sidebands will appear. Similarly, here also uh, 15 into 2 is 30. So 30 is a even number as well as a multiple of 3. So it will not occur, but sidebands will occur. Similarly, 15 into 3 is 45. No 45 here, but sidebands will appear. So in linear modulation region, your fundamental component is only 0.6 something, but uh, lower order harmonics are eliminated. So voltage control can be done by varying the modulation index. So in linear region, maximum you are getting only 61.2 percentage. If you want to high, if you want higher fundamental voltage, you can go for over modulation. So where you will get a um, higher fundamental voltage, but problem is you may get lower order harmonics. Another one is square wave modulation where you will get a higher voltage. So in over modulation region, MA is greater than 1 and amplitude in the fundamental component is uh, increased compared to linear region. So V01 is equal to this one. That is equal to 0.78 Vs. And the output voltage contains more harmonics in the sideband as compared to the linear range. In square wave modulation, amplitude of the fundamental component is increased as we see in the waveform itself and here the line to line output voltage is independent of the load because you will get only square wave output and this uh, output also contains lower order harmonics of order 6n plus or minus 1. The main disadvantage of square wave inverter is that the output voltage magnitude you cannot control. So the points to remember here are 
three reference sine waves are used one triangular carrier wave and mf should be a odd integer and a multiple of three so that third order harmonics will be eliminated and you have three regions linear region over modulation region and square wave region and if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you